What's going on bro? Thanks for watching another video. If you guys watched the previous one, you would have seen that I snapped the dark side cam right in off. Well, not me. I don't know how it happened exactly. I just want to show you guys. But it looks like in case you missed it. Um, last night I was a bit bummed when I realized this. This is a very expensive piece of kit. Anyways, um, so that's what it looks like. Still no idea how it happened. Anyways, I reached out to Darkside this morning. Uh, sent them an email with a couple of pictures to hear their thoughts on everything. Because everyone that I spoke to yesterday assumes or advises me that it might be a manufacturing defect. Nothing that I could have done wrong really. As you see this morning, I put my old stock cam back in the car. Uh, this thing has 280 odd thousand Ks on it. But I put it in. Um, everything went smooth. Just flipping, falling over some tools here. Everything went smooth, got the cam belt on. So the next step is going to be to put the injectors in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the old loan set in. The ones that I thought I messed up and then it was actually a bearing. So I'm going to put them in the car just to ensure that they are perfectly fine before I send them back to the owner. If not, I'm still going to send them in and have them reconditioned for the, for the owner. So fingers crossed that those are actually fine and nothing wrong with it. So after the injectors are in, I'm going to close up the motor and then we can start doing the aircon pump and the alternator and all that stuff. Once that is on, the motor is ready to go back in the car. We're all waiting on the clutch. I just got a call five minutes ago. The clutch is ready, so I need to head to Joburg, which is about an hour's drive one way. So looking at about two and a half, maybe three hours then back to go and fetch the clutch. I'll do that this afternoon. I first want to finish this up and close the motor so that I know everything in here is the way it should be. Then we'll get the clutch and then we'll probably pop it in tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. So if I can finish the motor today, put the clutch on and then maybe put the box back on the motor and then tomorrow we can just slip it in the car and then we can start the rebuild process. That's going to be this video. This entire video is going to be uh, putting it back in the car basically. So I'm going to run over this briefly and then we'll put the motor back in the car and then you guys should see you should see the first fire up uh, in this video if everything goes according to plan that is so i'm done talking let's get started on these injectors and let's get this thing back on the road
this is it boys i haven't picked up the camera in a while but it's i would say 90 percent together i need to do the boost pipes the intake pipe the exhaust is on and the small or a few other miscellaneous stuff but the big stuff is on i'll put oil in the motor the next step for me would be to fire it up and see what it does it will be my first time hearing this motor run i know the light isn't very good at the moment but excuse that so what i'm gonna do is i have the glow plugs out so the car won't start i'm gonna crank it over a couple of times just to to prime all the lines the oil the injectors all that stuff and then after a while or after a couple of cranks i'll put the glow plugs in and then from there on fingers crossed that this week's worth of work was worth it in the end it's currently friday afternoon around four so i said i wanted i said i want to have the car running by sunday and it's currently friday afternoon like i just mentioned so if we get it running today that will give us enough time that if something isn't happy at the moment that we can fix it or sort it out or whatever needs to be done to have it fully driving on sunday hopefully that's the plan so it's still not over but it's looking good at this stage so i think the next step for us is to crank the motor let's do it Maiden voyage boys I'm so happy right now the car feels great you can see I've done about six kilometers still got a couple of small things that I need to button up the car doesn't have a bonnet the bumper and a few other miscellaneous stuff that's needed but at the moment I am extremely happy it's currently Sunday uh, Saturday 
just after one so I think we definitely hit our target of getting the car back up and running before the end of the week which was Sunday so that's some good news I need to bet the clutch in for about a thousand kilometers and I also put some shitty oil in the motor just so I can flush it after a couple of kilometers so I'm not gonna do too much and then I'll switch out the oil for the proper ones and then I need to bet in the clutch but everything feels great at the moment I'm back home now I hope you guys can hear me fine I'm recording with the phone the GoPro's battery died but I'm back home I drove the car about 20 kilometers I'm extremely happy with the way it's running I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now without the bumper and the bonnet I've still got a couple of things to do that I can only fix on Monday I think I need a new water bottle it seems like this one is giving me some issues I don't know if you guys heard that and the other thing I need is a dipstick. This one is a bit broken. So I need a dipstick. I need that. Uh, one of the fuses that's normally on the battery, one of them blue. So I need a new fuse there. And then I can put the battery box back on or the intake box. And I want to fit the N75 valve. And then once all that stuff is done, we're good to go. I think I want to bleed the clutch a little bit more. I'm not too happy with the way it's feeling. Nothing wrong with it. I just think I can get it better if I bleed it a bit more. But I need some brake fluid for that. So brake fluid, dipstick, water bottle, fuse. And then we can put it all back together. I'm extremely happy. It's currently Sunday afternoon. I think I told you guys that already. Saturday afternoon. I don't know why I say Sunday saturday afternoon and our goal was to get this car running by sunday tomorrow so we made it one day early uh this whole morning i actually started it up last night this whole morning i was busy fixing uh broken stuff like this switch or plug was broken so i put new wiring on there uh there was a couple more that needed my attention which i did today so that was from about nine or ten from probably 10 30 this morning up to after one o'clock and then i took the car out for a drive so my whole morning consisted of fault finding and fixing small stuff that i never get to do um, i'm very happy with the way it's sitting at the moment um, that's it thanks for everyone who's been a great help throughout this journey a uh, couple of my friends my father who helped me uh, with the majority of the stuff here you guys would have seen in the videos you would have seen him uh, friends who lent me stuff like this without this i wouldn't have been able to do this job um brunk down in cape town where i got the motor from big shout out to him uh i don't know what i would have done if i didn't get this motor for the price i did and the service that he gave me he actually sent the motor from cape town to Pretoria for me on a Sunday, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support throughout this journey. And then obviously all you guys, all your comments, all your likes, all your shares, all of that stuff, uh, it motivated me to basically to do more. Um, I would have, I would have been so scared to take on a job like this, but with the help of you guys and the support from you guys, I did this within a week, first time ever doing it. And then lastly, the main inspiration for all of this, uh, Devin Nimila, if you guys don't watch his channel, DV Nimila, head over to his channel, go and follow his work. He makes this stuff looks like it's nothing. And that really inspired me to do more on my own car instead of sending this away and having someone work on it. Uh, his channel inspired me to, to start doing more stuff to my own cars. You guys know I like to do our stuff, but big jobs like this, I would normally send out and have someone else do it. So that was a massive inspiration for me as well. Uh, I think that's everyone. If I missed anyone, my apologies. I tried to, I'm tired. It's been a long week. My arm is tired from holding the phone up. Um, so that's it guys. Thanks to each and everyone for the support. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And now the plan is to enjoy the call for a bit and then we can start 
uh, making some power on this motor. I need to bet the clutch for a thousand Ks so we can do that. And then we can start making some power on this motor, hopefully. And the goal is for that one, for me to build that motor when finances and time allows. And then we can put that motor back in this car with a forged bottom end, basically. So that's the plan or the future plan for this car. Uh, the TIG one, you guys keep on asking me, not yet sold. Hopefully soon and then we can get another car on the channel. So we'll have two cars to tinker around with. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I really, I really, uh, I'm excited for that. So anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and reflect your passion. Yeah.